Anyway, so we're very unpopular. Uh, I'm very unpopular in New York City and in the suburbs right now, just generally on earth. And uh, it stresses out my wife. So she's having a birthday party. And this is good news because it's some new friends and then her old friends. So she goes, it's really important that you come down and do a little cameo and say hi and do your charming little jokes where I have, I have like four jokes I always do when my wife has a party. It's like, hey guys, can we keep the noise down, please? I'm hearing a lot of shit and fuck. And I also heard the word blowjob, which <laughs> the kids can hear so we can. I know you guys don't do them anymore, so why talk about them? <laughs> um, so I go, all right, all right. So there's a thing you can do now in New York where you rent a movie theater for nothing. What? 300 bucks. You can't choose, they, they give you a list of movies and it's pretty small. It's like Star Wars, Magic Mike, Nine to Five. Shitty movies, I guess they have lying around. But it's like 250, 300 bucks. Wow. So everyone puts in 10 bucks and you got a theater and you can drink and scream and That's awesome. run the place. So she does that for her birthday. She does Magic Mike. I make her a, a fake flyer of her as one of the women in Magic Mike with Channing Tatum dancing behind her. And it's not sexual with these women. They just laugh their heads off and scream. So they do that and they get fucking wasted. What follows is possibly the worst night of my life. They're throwing themselves into the road gladly. I thought I deserve to join World War II vets because of all the movies I've seen, especially Stoned. I have a new Purple Heart in women's birthday parties. I mean, if I had footage of this, you would... You would think that I wrote a shitty movie and then got a bunch of actors to overdo their lines. <laughs> it was, I mean, look up a lion being eaten by hyenas. That's what it was. And I made, I actually made it worse. So I, I sort of pictured my birthday party, like my 50th was at a bar. Everyone wore Hawaiian shirts. There's about 60 people there. There was no yelling or screaming. There was no fighting. Everything was cool. There's a lot of insults, a lot of ball busting. My wife showed up, even though I said no broads allowed. I tried to get the bouncer to kick her out. Um, and uh, yeah, this is me on Saturday night. I can't believe we're getting all this great footage from you over the weekend. Yeah. But this one I did pretty good with the camera work. I mean, I had to use Well, it was vision. dark and you still got a lot there. Yeah. Maybe you work better under pressure. Yeah, I like the nighttime shoots because I had the flashlight there. This is me. Like, I know what it's like to be a lion. I could have helped. No, you would have been eaten alive, too. Thanks. So, and my, my wife showed up to my 50th, and she goes, wow, this is fun. You guys are fun. I go, yeah. Outside of blowjobs, which, judging by our marriage, wouldn't happen too much if I married a dude, uh, I'm gay for men. Men are yeah, awesome. Come. And it's not just... It's not just that we were cool and not hurting. Like everyone was telling interesting stories and there was cops there, ex-cons, boxers. Like everyone has got great, I choose friends with great yarns. I don't care what you look like. Just, I don't even care what your politics are. Just don't be boring. I don't have one boring friend besides Ryan. And this one is eating the poop all over. So I was dumb enough, again, to put my brain into their head and assume that her party would be with civilized human beings who were from Earth. <clears throat> now, I know they've been watching Magic Mike, right? So they come downstairs. We have a karaoke machine downstairs, but it's Bluetooth. It's a little bit tricky. I'm cheap. So my entertainment system is not one of these push the on button. You've got to like turn off your Bluetooth. And you've seen my entertainment system. Yeah. My, my it projector is a disaster. Is hanging with <laughs> cords, literal cords. Like, you know, these twisty, you know, twist ties. Well, if you go to Home Depot, you can get big, long ones. They're for like tying up a tree and stuff. So that's what's holding my projector to pipes on the roof. It looks terrible. And no one else can run it but me. And even I spend about 20 minutes every time I want to watch a movie. Anywho. So I think, wouldn't it be funny if I go down there and do my same old, hey guys, music's getting kind of loud. And I'm, and then just go, whoom, and, oh. whoom, and whip my pants off. <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> my daughter and I were watching a movie, which is... Uh, it's a little late. I'm a little late on this. You've probably seen it, but have you fucking seen Hereditary? No. Again, I have PTSD. I feel like I've been raped by a good friend. Oh, I wanted to see. This is scary, I heard. Dude. I heard this is scary. It is so fucking intense. From somebody who doesn't get scared, I heard this was bothering or troublesome. It's beyond scared. I'm not scared. I'm 
disturbed. Changed. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I want to see this now. I'll never be the same again. I don't wish I could unsee it, but it's just so vivid and fucking intense. Look at that kid. He looks like that Scottish comedian. So mom dies. She's in hospice for a while. They weren't that close to her. She's got a daughter who seems kind of special. She's got the same disease that the kid in Stranger Things has, where your face doesn't form right. Who are you to say what, what's right or wrong for the forming of a face? Um, and it turns out that her mother was in the occult. And what these, these people do... I'm, is this spoilers? I'm being delicate here. Okay. But they deal with death and the afterlife and haunting and taking over bodies and stuff. Um, that's all I'll do. Mm -hmm. But this gets scarier and scarier and more and more supernatural as it goes on until the very end, which is just like beyond horror, beyond. So I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I, <laughs> I'll never financially recover. I'll never I'm mentally done. recover from this. <laughs> <You're done. I'm laughs> so I'm watching that with my daughter who's tough and cool and she's 14 and I go you want to sleep in mom's bed tonight why are you talking to me like I'm five meanwhile she did sleep in mom's bed that night our bed um so that's going on and then I hear them come in and they're just like boom 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 ah it's like 12 women screaming constantly it's like the laughing is just a scream it's indistinguishable from a scream so then they go downstairs and I'm hearing my name being screamed, screamed, not like Gavin, but Gavin. And I'm, I have fear. I'm scared. And the horror movie isn't helping things. So I think I have, I've had a plan all day where I'm going to do a strip tease. So I come down and I'm thinking they're going to be civilized like my birthday party, but the screaming is scaring me. So. We took a break from the movie and my daughter helped me make these pants where I cut, I cut off all the sides of the pants and then with like packing tape, like not too strong, I taped them back together so they'd be easy rip of offable. And then for my t-shirt, I just cut the front and then taped it to my skin so it had no back. My mm -hmm. back was my skin. That's cool. Which is weird because you can't really walk or the tape comes undone. So I'm walking like this down the stairs. <laughs> and my pants are starting to sag. So as I'm talking to them, the front of my pants is sag so much you can see my underwear. <laughs> it's like, a, imagine normal pants, but the waist is size 80. <laughs> so I go, hey, ladies, the music's really loud right now. And um, they go, oh, sorry. And I go, I've had enough of this. And I go, Foom. and then I go, Foom. and then I realize I don't have any dances. Like, oh, I haven't been to a male strip club before. I don't even know what their moves are. Like, do they dance like they're dancing or do they just gyrate? Yeah, no, right. it's quiet for him. So I don't know what to do. So and then the other part is they all start screaming. Oh, yeah. They, like, I might as well have gone down there, there with a little baby and said, hey, did I tell you I have a newborn? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and then pulled its head back. His blood just went. Psh, oh, my God. Ah! Like, that's how they were screaming. I'm, I'm not exaggerating. None of this will be exaggerations. <laughs> So blood's shooting everywhere, they're screaming, and I'm dancing around, and as I'm dancing, I'm getting kind of scared. Like, two of them have fallen. <laughs> they're on the ground, and the others are screaming, they're clawing at me too, I guess because they oh, wow. saw a magic mic, and they're grabbing my underwear. And then, so I run upstairs, and then uh, I, my wife has a Chippendales nightshirt. So that's my second act, so I come down. All I'm doing right now is feeding meat to the hyenas, and they're getting crazier and crazier. So what was already a volatile situation, I just made way worse. Now they're out of fucking control. And I come downstairs in my Chippendales outfit and uh, they're going, Gavin, make the karaoke work. Make now, my wife's made this karaoke work a hundred times. It's her machine. But because she's drunk, all the buttons on the iPad are in Chinese and they just keep, and I'm like, stop, stop, stop. And they're screaming at me, screaming at me. And then they're like, Gavin, Gavin. And so as I'm trying to make her phone, which is a dumb idea because you can't see the lyrics on a phone. It should be on an iPad. Where's the iPad? As I'm trying to make her phone work on the Bluetooth, the women are screaming at me and I'm, I'm getting scared. Like, stop. And I can't say, shut the fuck up. <laughs> because the whole reason I'm there is to ingratiate myself with Emily's new friends and try to help our reputation in town. So I'm just taking it on the chin, which is not the Scottish way. At one point, one of them is screaming at me that she wants 
her phone to go with this uh, Bluetooth speaker, which is separate from the karaoke. She also wants the TV on, the projector to be on, even though we have two disco balls going, because she wants some action over there. That's just a blank wall. What? So that should have, so I have to find a show that's a good background show, like The Lost Boys is what I ended up finding, because it was news before that. <sighs> So I'm dealing with those two spinning plates. Then she goes, I want booze. Do you have any Coke? And so now I don't have any Coke, but I, now I have to get booze. I don't know where the where, what my wife got you for booze. And then they're still screaming at the karaoke and they're holding microphones going, hello, check, check. And that's deafening. So I eventually get the karaoke going and then it's on a phone. I go, I'm going to go get the iPad because they're squinting to see the lyrics and the 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 mic... Uh, uh, Plugs are sort of <laughs> cackling a little bit. Oh, yeah. Which is loud, and it's not loud enough now. It's got quiet for some reason. You know, all the volumes are on full. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Remembering it is giving me PTSD. And then as I get up, this woman's like, Gavin, G Gavin. And she goes, I want music on. But there is music. It's karaoke. You want to listen to music at the same time? And I go, I feel like a Mexican here. Oh. And then her friend, their newest friend, was like, what did you just say? And I go, I feel like I'm, I'm some sort of illegal alien that's been hired here to take abuse. She goes, you can't say that. Why do you think you're in so much trouble these days? And I was thinking about it, I go, that's exactly how I feel. Right. I, I'm not trying to be hyperbolic. I'm not trying to be racist. I felt like some sort of servant who, like an illegal alien, they couldn't call the cops because they're going to get arrested. So I pretty much nailed it on the head. Yeah, and they were the racist. They were the ones picking on a Mexican. They were treating you like a Mexican, yeah. And I was like, who's going to clean your toilets, Sir Donald Trump? In that... In the sense that... So, eventually, once I get the karaoke machine going, I just run upstairs, petrified, shaking, a mere shell of a man. And... Uh, I gotta get back to the horror movie. So I'm watching the horror movie with my daughter. You have to see this movie if you haven't seen it. It's not, it's not scary. It's disturbing, it changes you. There's this one scene at the very end where a certain lady who may or may not be dead may or may not be praying to someone or something and it's burned into my cranium. I see it when I'm driving and be like, yeah. Even today, I was driving my daughter to school and I was looking at a car and then I looked forward and I was too close to a car. It wasn't a slam break or anything but it reminded me of the movie. I was like, ah, ah. Even after you turn off the movie, you're in the movie. Me and my buddy Steve Durand used to call it the movies, where you know when you're in a movie and then after you're still in it? Mm -hmm. Like a Rocky type movie, and you're like, Adrian, hey, this is a yo. <sighs> so then I'm watching the movie and I can hear them screaming for me, calling for me. Oh, no. I'm like, more chores, more things that have to go smoothly. Mike! What? That's, ex that's perfect. Go back. Mikey! That was my night. <laughs> Mikey! Change Mike. That is not a molecule of an exaggeration. It <laughs> might be underwhelming. Change Mikey to Gavin. <laughs> and that's what it is. Come on, man. Mikey! So then, they, women love men as much as we do, by the way. So they start wanting men there. They know they're fucking lunatics. What do you do at a turkey farm with all female turkeys? Ryan? Oh, you, you, you bang the turkeys. You bang the turkeys. You fuck turkeys. <laughs> Nailed it. No. You get a male turkey in there. Oh, Whether yeah. he's not for breeding, they just sort of calm the, the place. Same with cows. You get a bull in there. Calms the place. And being good at it. if you. So this one chick, this Asian chick, goes, I want to get my friend Billy. And I, I said, no. Like, you don't invite a dude to a girl's night. This is the ladies. This is their big night. So she invites him anyway. And, uh, oh, here's another thing that was going on. I think, like, my wife has a lot of new friends, and I think each of them thought, I'm kind of her bestie. And uh, we're going to bond tonight. <laughs> but she, they didn't get her. Like, you have to choose one. And here's my theory. Men can be second best. We still eat. We're still, we we'll just won't get the, the tenderloin but we'll still get a leg bone we can bring to our family. They can be eighth best. Women cannot be second best or they don't get the man and then they can't procreate. So a woman don't do very well with second place. That's why they're so competitive in high school. That's why they can be so cunty because there's everything at stake. 
Nothing is really at stake for us, man, which is probably why we're so groovy. And I'm saying this as a feminist. Women have more at stake. They're trying to breed. They're trying to continue the species. So if the male says no, they're dead. I want to be a woman. So they could go to the second best male. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but that's not the way procreation works. You know, look at how birds mate. The, the bird does the craziest dance, almost kills the other competing male bird, and then she fucks him. You're trying to improve the species. If you go to the second best, not, you're not your best option, you failed. You failed humanity. That's precisely the bird I was thinking of today. Wow, you're pretty on today there, Ryan. Is I, your limes not kicking in today? Maybe. <clears throat> I mean, moose will murder each other trying to get the mate. Anyway, so one of them was getting kind of bitter, this Jewish woman. And my buddy Robbie shows up. And I can't, I'm like, I wanted to grab him and take him to like my lair, my den, and be like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> This is like someone, you remember snakes on a plane where they gave them that weird pheromone? Someone gave these bitches the snakes on the plane drug. They're fucking murdering people. And they're going to murder each other. Oh, my God. And they're so volatile, too. They're like, I love you. Come here. Come here, Gabby. I love, everyone hates you. You're a family man. I always tell people, I always defend you. And then they <laughs> kiss me. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'm like, Get off of me, you fucking wet worm. Not fucking good, you fucking rat. You fucking rat. At one point, Gavin! 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 <laughs> and I'm like, ah, it's like a firecracker. And I, I did the nicest aggressive thing I could do where I go, please stop screaming my name at me! Smiling. <laughs> and then she's instantly crushed. <laughs> I always defend you. Oh, yeah. I've done nothing but love you, and you fucking attack me? And then I'm like, oh God, you're like, and then she'd be up again, hi! It's up and down and up and down, and I'm sweating. I, I'm not, and they're like, why don't you get drunk? I can't get drunk. I could fucking mainline bourbon right now, but my adrenaline is pounding so much trying to make you lunatics calm and smooth. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten any of the previous tangents. At one point, one of them has, they're drinking red wine in red solo cups. Great idea. We have white carpets in the basement oh. and a projector that's all white. So one of them is like, I love you. She wraps her arms around her friend, splash, splatters red wine all across the carpet and all on the projector. War. So then I'm running around. I don't want it to set. So I get bleach wipes for the screen. As they're still parting, I'm like, <laughs> cleaning up after them like the Mexican. <laughs> And then I'm getting like a, a wet bucket with soapy water and scrubbing. And then she, the one who spills is like, that wasn't me. And then she's got bleach wipes and she's like. And I'm like, I got it, I got it. All she's doing is spreading it around and making the bleach all bubbly. So it's like making the carpet whiter than it should be. <sighs> so uh, yeah, one of them invites this guy, Billy. And I'm like, what the fuck? And he's young. He's like a young hunk. And he starts making out with the hot ones who are either widows or single or whatever, right? And he's groping other moms too, and they don't seem to care. They're like, whatever, that's that hunky guy. I, I guess Magic one. Mike fucked them up. <laughs> and, and then I, I go, hey man, how you doing? You like scotch and something? And he's like an ex-Marine or he says he is. He's lying about where he lives. I don't know what the fuck's going on with this guy. And then he gets drunk and... I, I get given scotch a lot. I don't like it. So I've got tons of McMillan. McLimmon, McMummel, something like that. McLivitz, McMillan. I think it's McMillan. And I go, oh, good. You're a scotch guy. Maybe you can finish this off. I've had it for fucking since Christmas. And uh, he goes, no, I don't drink that. That's shit. I remember it being pretty expensive. No, it's not that. It's a tall bottle. Anyway, it was too shitty for him. He wasn't interested. But he actually help sort of mediate the room hmm. and things got a little like less loud then they go they decide they're going to go to another room and they start playing my records you can imagine my vinyl now it's just a stack of black just a a cylinder of homeless vinyl no alphabetization Congratulations. just I, I mean it's going to take me probably 45 minutes to find the sleeves for everything and then re-alphabetize it all Anyway, I'll take it. It's your birthday, whatever. Um, 
But when I'm upstairs, one of the dads shows up to pick up one of the moms, and he's a friend of mine. So I want to take him into the den, the guy I was telling you about. And But I have to leave him alone. I go, dude, I cannot believe this, but I'm watching a horror movie with my daughter. She's shitting her pants. Can you just sit here for a bit with the beer? And it's got like six minutes left. He's like, all right, don't worry about it. I should have hid him in another room is what I should have done. But um, I watched the rest of the horror movie with my daughter. You okay? You okay? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Meanwhile, her eyes are like this. I'm not scared. The movie was stupid. I can't wait to go to bed. At, I think she went finally went to bed at 3.30 a.m. Uh, and I go, honey, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. You're still up? And she goes, it's, it, she goes, it's the weekend. I don't even have a bedtime on the weekend. <laughs> I go, yeah, you do. Okay. It's later than usual, but it still exists. I'm fine. I'm just ta- talking with my friends. So... I come back downstairs and one of them, the Jewish woman, is looking at my buddy and she goes, you're a fucking Jew. What? He's not. He's Italian. Well. (laughs) No. (laughs) Could they be farther apart? This is white. This is Jewish. This is Italian. I don't know. They're at old Robert De Niro and old uh, Al Pacino. They look Jewish now. Like old Italians are Jews. Even my Jewish friend says New Yorkers. There's a lot of factors in that. They become Jews? That's not a Jew. Yeah. No. Tomato, tomato. Anyway, um, he's like, all right. Like, he, he owns bars. So he's, he's an expert. He's not stressed. Plus, he has no stakes. He could care if this woman lives or dies. He's never seen her before. And I think she was mad that my wife had chosen another best friend for the party. So she was like, fuck these bitches. Wow. Did you like Magic Mike? I don't need to see that shit. Fucking bullshit. You know what she told me, though? She's a trainer, and she told me that she trains this couple that just moved here from Brooklyn. And they said, did you know Gavin McInnes lives in this town? She goes, yeah, I train his wife. And they go, oh, my God. We're thinking of moving. <laughs> moving. from Because of all the stray bullets. <clears throat> right. <laughs> Ching! One came through their window. We got to get out of here. That Gavin is trouble. We don't like the, to hear the marches and the, the anthems. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? What? There's too many Proud Boy rallies in this town. They keep meeting on their motorcycles, brrr, rolling through town, smashing windows, grabbing random girls off the street and throwing them on the backs of their motorbikes. Yeah, we can't be privy to that crap. Even if you're like, who was the guy who started the Hells Angels? That main guy who's like 89 years old. Not Chuck Zito. He was the best Hells Angel. But the original guy, Sonny Barger... Say Sonny Barger lived in your town. What do you think's going to happen? It's going to be just Harleys rolling through town at all times? It's not going to happen. Anyway, and then she's like, where'd you grow up? So aggressive. Like, they really are aggressive. They should not drink alcohol. You know what we do when we're drunk? We come up with really funny ways to insult you. Like, so that guy, that chick's not calling me back. I guess I'm dumped. Yeah, it must hurt to be dumped by someone who's clearly so perceptive. Mean things that hurt you today. It's a joke. <laughs> so then she's, he goes, I grew up in Queens. She's like, did you have a backyard, front yard? And he goes, yeah, it wasn't very big, obviously. It was like as big as this kitchen, I guess. Maybe two of these kitchens. Bull fucking shit. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, yeah, why are you lying? She goes, did you have a barbecue? And he goes, yeah, I had a barbecue. Bull fuck, you're lying. <laughs> did you have like a barbecue set? And he goes, yeah, you have, if you have a barbecue, you have a barbecue. Bull fucking shit, you fucking liar. And I'm like, yeah, you fucking lying piece of shit. You didn't have $100 for a barbecue and another $30 for various utensils used to yeah, flip douche. the burgers. Like it was just unbridled aggression for no reason. And then another woman thing is, like, my thing is I jounce my leg. I'm always bouncing it up and down. Or I'm, I'm moving my foot like this when I watch TV. I'm a high-strung dude. And she's, like, pushing on my leg, holding my leg down, going, stop. Stop. Like, they want to intervene. Unless your foot is on her chair, why would it matter to her? Yeah. You know? I don't understand if we were on a long steel bench and me shaking my knee was making her go, but I'm on my own chair with wood floors. You're not getting any of these j- jiggles. And then she turns over to me and I'm wearing my American flag thing I wear all day because it's a handy mask. I have to go to the liquor store. And she goes, uh, what the fuck's with you anyway? I go, pardon me? 
You fucking America. You're not even American. You're not even American. Yeah, well, I find that immigrants tend to be the most patriotic because they're very grateful to be here. Fuck you, fucking Canadian. I go, well, I was actually born in Britain. So you're nothing. You're nothing. And you wear this. Get the fucking flag off. You're not even Scottish. Oh, oh, oh. You changed your name, you pussy. Jesus. Because I told her that. And I go, actually, my grandfather changed his name because he was an Irish bookie and no one would give bets to give their money to an Irishman. That's, you're two generations off with that insult. It just keeps going and going. And then they're I in the front room. God, the music is blaring. And by the way, I can't relax because I'm worried about some of them driving home drunk because they are tarnished. This one woman, I could have picked her up and just poured her into a bucket and then just poured the bucket out the window. She was amorphous. She was... What, what do they call it when you go from a solid to a gas? Sublimation. <laughs> she, she was being sublimated as we spoke. And so I wanted her keys. No one told me she took an Uber there. That would have been nice to know. Yeah. So I'm watching people go. I'm, I'm driving women to their homes because everyone was pretty local. Stressed out. Are you okay? And that was, I wanted to stay up to do that because my whole point was to ingratiate myself with the new friends, right? And the one that got mad at me for saying I feel like I'm Mexican, I was determined to drive her home. Because I was worried that she, I had blown, burned that bridge on, with my first step on it. <sighs> Can you sense my stress? It was the most, like, we've had our site hacked. We had to lose freespeech.tv as a name. We, or we're going to get sued to smithereens. We uh, had Stripe boot us off and take all of our information. Not take it, but refuse to give it to us. Keep it in some stasis on a satellite somewhere. All of those were the end of the company and the end of my career. I mean, what am I going to do after this? Start a new magazine called Vice 2? Go do a loop-de-loop? And that was obviously very stressful, but you sit there, you talk to lawyers, you talk to your tech guy, you figure out ways, you talk, talk about solutions, you usually have four or five solutions to a problem, and you choose the most, the cheapest and the fastest one, right? This wasn't like that, dude. I was sweating, running up and down the stairs, Fucking hell. When I'm talking to you here on a human level. Like, imagine you gave a bunch of retards LSD and speed and you weren't allowed to be mean or inconvenience them in any way. That's what I lived through. M Mikey! Th that was my name. Mikey! And when I would run down and see what the Gavin was about, it was like, <laughs> I need a drink. Bluetooth doesn't work. Why, why isn't the music louder? They always want it louder. They carry a tune to save their lives. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're dancing with each other. And they're, oh yeah, that's another thing. I'm trying to talk to one of them, like blah, 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 blah. I'm like, come up and dance. Dragging you up to dance. The last thing you feel like doing is dancing with a retard who's on LSD and speed at the same time and can't be chastised. I'll eat your ass. So it gets later and later. I find out the woman I was the most worried about driving can't even drive. Her car isn't even there. She wants me to drive her home and it's like half an hour away. I'm like, uh, no. I'll pay for an Uber with my own money. So, uh, they keep partying and partying. It was a funny, there was an article in the New York Post about New Yorkers moving to the suburbs with this massive exodus from the Manhattan, the Manhattan. And it has a woman in Jersey going like this. And it says, since these Manhattanites been moving up here, it's nothing but renos and construction and loud parties all night. And I was like, yeah, I'm in the article. It's this house. Bang, boom, boom, boom. I'm surprised the neighbors didn't call the cops. We're up to like 3 a.m. now. So I figure, okay, I can finally relax. I've cleaned up all the spills. We're down to like five people, including that weird dude who came by. I was trying to fuck one. I think he was trying to fuck the one who was the bitch. Hot shit. But her husband, then I hear she called her husband to come pick her up. He's a great guy, by the way. I, lo I love all these people outside of this. Not one person there do I dislike when they're sitting on a lawn chair at a baseball game. In this context? Just leave. Just go somewhere else. Oh, God. That was me. So then I hear... I hear, by the way, I'm upstairs. Some of the women are skulking around on the second floor. Like my kids are sleeping up there. And I hear like, right? With their like, they, they come wearing stilettos like this, right? And inevitably at that time, then I was just like socks or like, you know, bare feet. And I'm hearing, right? And I'm like, what the fuck? I get up, get down, get down. 
I'm like, there you are. <laughs> get down, get down. Where the fuck have you been? Your jukebox We're money. We're dancing. It's as big as a whale. <laughs> they so, have no concept of. This world sums up them. the night in a nutshell. All right. I'm in bed. I'm in my underwear, my t-shirt and socks like Robert Crumb. And this nigga is asshole, oh, man. My. I'm finally getting tired enough. Like the adrenaline has finally simmered down where I think I might be able to sleep. It's 3 a.m. now. Plus, I know she's going to be destroyed the next day. So my littlest gets up around six. I got to get up with him. So I'm looking at three hours here. Or what? We all sleep till like 10 and he's just been sitting there for four hours alone in a sleeping house, staring at a screen, playing his fucking uh, dingbat game, whatever the game, it's Nintendo Switch, which is child abuse. So it's either... Get three hours of sleep or abuse your child. Not great options. That's true. And I hear her say, my husband's coming to pick me up. That's the bitch who called the, the Jewish woman who called my Italian buddy a fucking Jew. <laughs> and uh, uh, I hear, my husband's coming to pick me up. He's going to party with us, you guys. And then I hear, woo! And then my wife goes, oh, Gavin loves him. I'm going to wake him up. Don't worry, I'll go wake him up. What? And I'm like, and then I become Anne Frank and I, <laughs> I unplug my phone and hide it because if they see it's plugged in, they know I'm nearby. <laughs> and I crawl under my bed. I have a laundry hamper there. I crawl underneath my bed. I'm behind the laundry, ha laundry hamper, hiding, cowering in fear, petrified of the drunk women. I felt ugly. I felt gay. That's how my night ended. <laughs> Writing my diary from under the bed talking about the Nazis the why of things I know the why it's called booze women should not drink alcohol it's bad for them so I had to get that story out I feel a lot better I'll tell you what you know it was some catharsis during all this hmm. um, knowing I could tell the story and get it out you this people be good. Yeah. are my therapy thank you for this thank you for being there because i thought at least i have content what are you doing lining up an indian joker oh in a while all right